Anyone else just want to take the grenade launcher out for a test drive? I know I do. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Cryofall, and may I just take a brief moment to say, Wee! Yeah, I've got a hoverboard. Okay, you've missed a lot of stuff. You've missed a tremendous amount of stuff. Here's what happened. Let me get off the hoverboard here so I can talk to you guys. I recorded an entire episode of Cryofall, and we did a ton of cool stuff. It was really, really good. One of the better ones, I thought. And then when I ended the episode and went to start processing all the stuff from that, I realized that my microphone did not record. Nothing. Not at all. Just complete silence for the entire thing. I have had the same settings set up on my recording software for years. I have never changed the settings. But that one day, the recording software decided to say, Nah, we don't think we're going to record your microphone. You should have checked the settings, dude. Suffice to say, I'll be doing that a lot more often now. So you've missed everything. If I've done this correctly, up in the corner, I should be replaying the video, because the video I have, no sound, but I had the video. If you want to take a peek at it, that's cool. You can. You can kind of follow along with today's episode. But I've got to bring you guys up to speed, because we did a bunch of stuff. It's actually not the stuff that we did, it's the stuff that we got. We got a lot of cool stuff. Obviously, I've got a hoverboard. So I got the gas uh, battery things, the gas power packs there. They're in the hoverboard now, and we can zoom around on hoverboard. We did a lot of zooming around on hoverboard in the last episode. Then we declined to take hoverboard out because I realized I can't pick things up while I'm on the hoverboard. The speed of it is excellent, but the fact that I can't gather things while I'm doing it was kind of a fidgety thing. The more exciting stuff is the things we got. So we got one of those space debris moments, okay, an event where things dropped down from the sky and we went over and looked for them and we found them all. I found three different pods full of stuff. You may notice I've got a brand new apart suit here. Now that one I made, but in the space debris, well, we'll come to the guns later. Hang on. In the space debris, I got an entirely other apart suit. So I have two mint condition apart suits now. I also picked up a pair of assault armor. I didn't really want it, but it was there, so I'm definitely going to take it. Maybe I can use that as a backup somewhere if both of my apart suits fall apart. Now, the firearms. Okay, we got a military shotgun out of one of those space debris things. Definitely want to take that out for a spin, but I'm going to need to make ammo for it. More importantly, not one, two grenade launchers. I own two grenade launchers right now. Let me just say that again. I own not one, but two grenade launchers right now. And it even came with some helium gr grenades. I was disappointed to find out that they don't make people into balloons and float them up in the air, but they do uh, explosion and cold damage. So we'll definitely going to be taking those out on the road for a bit of a spin. While I'm in the inventory, you may notice empty biomaterial vial. Yeah, I made one of those biomaterial collector who's emiquets at things, and we've been making a whole bunch of biomaterial stuff. Every time we kill an animal, we get biomaterial from it. In fact, I made so much, I don't remember where I put it, but I made so much, there it is, I made an artificial retina implant. So I've got cybernetics in my fridge. I can't do anything with it right now, unfortunately, because I need to get the thing. What was the thing? Was it in other? I feel like it was in other. Yeah, the medical station. I can't put that implant in me until I get the medical station. And the big hold up there is, well, it's going to be those high-tech components. Because for high-tech components, if I remember correctly, and I believe I do, high-tech... I need gold. This is it. This was the stopping point of the last episode. I need gold. I have one gold bar right now. I've got one more cooking in the furnace. In fact, it's probably done at this point, but that's it. I need way more gold. Where was it? Yeah, there we go. There's my one gold bar. Got a little bit of gold nuggets left. So I got two. I need four minimum for this. Now, gold is going to be a problem because gold is basically just a random chance while we're mining. So what we're going to do today, now that you're broadly up to speed, broadly up to speed, we found so many cool things in those pods, so many cool things. I'd love it if another one of those dropped, is I want to take the grenade launcher out for a spin. I just want to give it a test drive. And I think I put together enough stuff during between episodes that I can make I, an HE grenade. I can make um, the, the basic blow stuff up grenade. Hang on. I've got copper and nitrocellulose. I definitely made those between episodes. 
Huh, maybe I didn't. I've searched all of my boxes and I can't find my nitrocellulose powder. I would have sworn up and down that I'd made some of that between episodes. All right, well, we'll just go out with the helium grenades. I've got everything else that I need. I'm not really fussed if we have it or don't. Got some more gasoline kicking around in there in case I need to make more things for the hoverboard. There's my one gold bar. No, I thought I made nitrocellulose powder between episodes. Apparently I didn't. All right, let me just eat up here. We're going to get on the road. And then let me just have a quick drink from the well. Uh, I've got bottles of water. I don't need to bring those. Got my empty vials here. We'll bring the roasted mushrooms down here for a quick snack if we need one. Got MREs as well. Got my drones. Oh, I was going to bring uh, fishing bait. I've got some of that in a fridge somewhere just in case we get that fishing event that I've been waiting for. Everyone keeps telling me, oh, Pragmium's easy. You just got to get that fishing event. Well, I've never seen it yet, but I want to be ready in case we do. I'll just take a little bit of bait so I don't fill my pockets up too much. Okay, I think you're broadly caught up. There may have been other cool things that we found, but mostly it was the apart suit and the assault armor and the grenade launchers, plural, and that shotgun, and we made hoverboard. I don't think I'm going to take hoverboard. I think we may go without, because I want this to be more of a slow exploration. I'm not racing around anywhere. Where do I think I want to go today? Last time, uh, what you missed is we went a little more up in here very briefly, kind of clear out some of that fog of war, and then that event happened, and that was kind of down here, so we we just kind of shot down there through a teleporter. I would like to keep re-exploring this area. So I could go up to this teleporter here. I could walk and or hoverboard up there. My concern with hoverboard is what happens when it runs out of gas. I feel I'm just going to be kind of stuck there. I think I'm going to take the long walk. I'm going to hit the road here, go up here, all along here, and then go up here. I'll mostly see you guys when I get over there, unless something very interesting happens. And the big goal for today, mining. Mining, mining, mining. I gotta figure out if I can get any more gold out of anything at all. I don't care. I will mine literally everything. I'm swimming in those powders, the sulfur powder and the potassium powder. I'll even take the rock. What the heck? I can dump them later if I need to, but everything needs to get mined. This is going to put a serious drain on the drones. I'm going to need to do some repairs when I get home with these guys. Oh, there's three gold nuggets right there. Yep, there we go. Three gold nuggets. No, I know I can't control more drones. It's fine. We're mining literally everything right now. Go ahead, get all of that. Oh, I spent a bunch of knowledge points too, but I don't really remember what I spent them on. I'm sure that will become readily apparent as we go along. I also want to focus on picking a lot of flowers. Make sure that we've got uh, enough stuff to do medically things when I get back. You get that, Sparky, and I'm going to go get this purple flower over here. Any of them. Green, red, purple, blue. Don't, don't care. I will take any flowers at this point. Oh, and P.S. will be murdering virtually everything on the way because biomaterial. That's kind of the point of all of this. Uh, yeah, you're fine. I got you. You're just all going to be biomaterial. Don't need to do anything. It just should automatically put biomaterial in my inventory when I loot these people. There it is right there. One empty vial gone, one full vial in there. I've got a fair bit of it, too. Oh, hi. I see you in there. Yeah, guess what? Laser. All right, I'm kind of broadly where I want to be, which is sort of up in the fog of war here. Let me just eliminate some potential problems here. And by potential problems, I mean you're all fueling my cybernetics, which is fantastic. I do deeply appreciate that. I've got the low light thing. I think I've got materials and biomaterials at this point to make another one. I've just got to get the gold. Where are we at with that? Six gold nuggets right now, plus what I've got at home. I can make one more bar. I've still got to come up with yet another one. Pick all the flowers that are going on around here. So we're in kind of swamp country. Not going to be great for mining, but something else might pop up. You never know. Anyone else just want to take the grenade launcher out for a test drive? I know I do. How about we replace the bandages with a grenade launcher? Um, this is going to be fun. I'm going to use it against this very silly little beetle here that I think we can totally cope with without a grenade launcher. However, I just want to see grenade launcher. Ooh, yeah, that does fine. That does just fine. I won't, uh, I won't keep wasting the grenades because you're basically done. That does okay. I think that might be very effective against the trilogy of Pragmium Beetles that we meet up with all the time. A little bit of area of effect damage there. Seems to be decent damage, and again, when I get some more nitrocellulose powder made, I can make better and different grenades. 
Oh, the Pragmium Queen is back. Great, super. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pass because I've got things going on here. I've got a plan. I've got a goal. Mining, mining, mining. And even with grenade launcher, I would not fancy my chances right now. I think she's a little too aggro for where I am at. Even with a brand new apart suit and grenade launcher, I'm not going to take a poke at that. However, I have stumbled into an amazing mining area. Let's get all of this. I hope there's a whole bunch of gold in here because I am going to strip mine this place. Oh, tiny problem, tiny problem. And by tiny, I mean plasma will deal with you just fine. I'll finish you off with laser. There you go. Certainly don't need a grenade launcher for you. You are fairly manageable. I mean, you hit like a brick, but you're super slow. So you're not going to come at me real fast. I've got plenty of time to take you out. Get all of this. Anything. I need, I don't know, like 10 more gold nuggets. And I'm in good shape to put my cybernetic implants in. Well, that's that area cleared out. I've also left a bunch of stuff behind that I don't really need. Very obvious things like rocks. I can I can get rocks anywhere. Rocks are... Re oh, hi, bears. Uh, rocks are readily available anywhere in the vicinity of anywhere at all in Cryophall. Don't need to be carrying around rocks. However, I will take those pink flowers. I don't remember what they make, but they're good for something in the medical range. What lives up here? It's all this sort of like boreal area that we've seen before. Probably expecting some blue snakes, not expecting a lot of mining, but I'll pick that off at least. How does grenade launcher do versus bear? And what's the range on it, by the way? How, how far does this thing go? Uh, where are we going? Uh, damage, yep, range. Uh, Mid-range. Pretty good range, not terrible range. Um, I'm going to shoot a grenade at you. And that hurt. And it slows you down because it does cold damage. I should not be wasting all these grenades. Oh, that, that slowdown, though. That's great. I'm loving that. Got to remember that. I was wondering what cold damage does. It slows them right down. That is really going to be useful against those Pragmia beetles, because they move like lightning. So go in with a grenade, slow them down, and then follow it up probably with plasma or laser or something like that. Yep, happy to find two grenade launchers. Well, I've been a lot less lucky with the gold lately. I picked up some really early on, and then nothing after that. Did find this new little area here. Yeah, that wolf thinks he's got an eyeball on me, but I don't think so. I'm having to clear out my inventory left and right. I'm picking up so many rocks and other useless things that I don't really need. Get all of this, get all of this. Yeah, the drone triplets are looking a little iffy. I could see when we get back, I'm going to have to probably put these three together to make one decent one, and then, oh, what is your problem? And then probably make one or two more as I need to. I know there's no free space in my inventory. I'll figure it out. You know what? I don't need all the sulfur powder. Thank you. This is why I need the retinal implant. Blue snake out of nowhere. Just bites me in the butt in the dark. Now I'm poisoned. Now I'm taking continuous damage. Thank you. I'm working on it. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to have any shortage of copper or iron by the time I get home. This has just become red-hot inventory management. I am dumping stuff left and right, trying to scrape up a little bit more gold. I've got 10 right now. I don't immediately remember how much I had sitting around in my furnace, but I think just like four or five more maybe, and I've got that... Uh, implant thing under control. I know there's no free space in inventory. We're trying to manage it. Actually, one fairly easy thing I could do is just kill two more animals, because I've only got two more empty vials for the biomaterial, so that will free up a slot. May as well get one out of you, and then there's got to be something around here. Whoa, hang on. I missed something there. I kind of bumbled down into fire lizard territory. I kind of forgot about these guys, if I'm honest about things. And I am. I think Plasma will make... Oh, I forgot you have a projectile. I totally spaced out about that. Sorry. Um, I'm still going to... You know what? Go laser. Laser's just faster. There we go. There we go. You know what? You might be good for a little grenade action, huh? Wow, you are just complete tanks. Absolute tanks. Let me slap a bandage on myself there. Uh, what are you doing to me? I'm toxin continuous damage. Okay, I'll just kind of let that tick down and then we'll take out the other one. I don't want to miss any of this mining. The gold I need could be right in here. See how Grenade Launcher does against the Fire Lizards. I'm just kind of curious. It completely misses them for a start. 
Okay, definitely gonna slow you down, obviously. It does a good bit of damage to you, too. That just rips right through you. I'm a little bit poisoned again, but I'm gonna learn to cope with that with a bandage. Well, I'm up to 13 so far, and the fight for inventory space has not been a small one. I'm kind of betting it all on this mining node here. If I can't find it in here, I'm really just gonna have to go home at this point and maybe pick up some of the local mining areas because I have strayed very, very far today. I'm, I'm feeling good about the amount of map I've uncovered. Got a whole big chunk of things explored here. Next time I'd like to get up in here, see what's going on there, and then kind of explore the western coast, if you will. Trying to find, I guess, I guess I need to find all of the teleporters. Uh, that's part of like how you get to the end game is what I'm led to understand from comments is that I've got to find, I guess I, if I recall correctly, somebody said there was 13 teleporters and I've got to discover them all before I can get any further. So definitely want to poke around the map more, but I'm kind of betting everything on this one last mining node. Oh, four right in that one, four gold nuggets right in that one. I think that's more than what I need. I'm going to finish this out just in case there's more. I mean, more is always going to be good. It's not like this is the last time that I'm going to need gold nuggets, but four right in that little pile. Okay, good stuff. Let me just dump rocks and then we'll try and make our way home. And by make it home, I mean get killed by a bear in the dark. This is why we're working on the retina implant. Ah. Uh running for the road. I figure if I can find the road, I can make my way home in the dark. No, no, no. I've been killed by a bear. How did that do for my parts suit? You know what? I've got a second one. I can put two of them together. All right. Which one was doing gold over here? Here you go. Have 17 more gold nuggets and then call me when you're done with that. It's going to take a while. Let me grab this one from you and let me start loading up everything else here. Nice thing about the electric furnace is you can just pack this thing eight slots for that yeah apply that matching recipe call me in about a year and a half when you're done smelting all of that copper uh what else so gold iron and copper i've got going on here let's just start well the very long and somewhat tedious tidying up process here while my gold is going and the garden's about picked clean too i've got bell peppers got i think of some tomatoes in there and a bunch of tobacco that I have no particular use for right now. Let's get all of this stored in the fridge. You know what? I will take that rot and I will put that into the biofuel generator. Put some cucumbers up here. Where'd that tobacco go that I just got out of there? I swear I just got some. Eh, it's fine. I'll figure it out. I'll tell you what, the three lithium salt extractors, that is what's tipping the balance and having enough lithium salts to make ingots into. That third one, with three of those going at once, I am loving that. I am never shy of lithium salts. A quick trip out to just get some basic materials, and I am swimming in lithium salts when I get back. That's just what I pulled out right now. 12 lithium ingots ready to go. I need to make some electronic components so I can then, when the gold is done, make the high-tech components, and then hopefully out of all of this, I'm getting cybernetics. So remember the entire video that you just watched where I spent my entire day going around trying to find gold because I desperately thought that I needed four gold bars? Yeah, it turns out I only needed two. I had a bunch of high-tech components sitting in a box. So I only needed to make one batch of high-tech components. I had 15 in a box. I only need five more. So I was going nuts trying to get four gold bars. I only needed the two. I could have done this from the very beginning of the episode. I'm feeling a little dopey right now, but hey, you know what? Let's get a medical station. Teensy tiny bit shy on plastics, but I will be able to figure that out in seconds. I should have, yeah, mineral oil. I've got more mineral oil down in um, the refinery down there. A little bit of coal. I'm going to be able to make plastic no problem. In fact, I should top off the generators and the whatnot while I'm down here. All part of the great tidying up process. Yeah, there we go. I had 20 mineral oil sitting down there, just doing nothing at all, just being all minerally and oily and whatnot. Let's just go make a bunch of plastic. You know what? Make more because I always need plastic or something. Just give me the max out of that. Certainly we got plenty of coal in that mining expedition, so I'm not worried about that. And then while that's kicking along, that should be more than what I need to finally, yes, oh goodness. Can't believe I had those high-tech components already kicking around. Oh, it's a big thing, isn't it? It's, it's very large. 
Well, it can't go on top of the bearskin rug. That's ridiculous. Um, hmm. Well, now I've got to figure out where I want to put it. I'm going to temporarily put it here just to get this done. And then I'm going to move it later when I figure out where I really want my med bay to be. I want to combine, like, my medical bench there and the fridges. And I like the biofuel reactors in the med bay. I don't know why. It just looks med bay-ish. All right. Now what do I do with it? Let's go get that thing that I made there. Where did I put that? The, uh, the low light who's he what's it? Did I put it over here in the box? Is that what I did? No, where did I, I just had it? Where, where was it? Uh, there it is. Okay. Artificial retina implant. Got it. And then go over to the medical station here. What do we do? No implant installed. Place an implant. It looks like I've got a limit of three. Or can I install three at one time? That's probably what it is. Like, if I had three different implants, I could put them all in at once. Well, give me an artificial retina. Not enough biomaterial. Okay, I've got that too. Hang on. Okay, so it requires 25 biomaterial just to implant it. All right, I didn't understand that part of it. So I need biomaterial to make it and 25 biomaterial to implant it. Yes, I have... Well, in theory, I can see in the dark now. And it does look like I'm a limit of three. Okay, so I do only I can only do three implants. I have to have a think about that. I know there's one in there for armored skin, so I'm definitely going to want to look at that. But the low-light vision thing... Well, I'll tell you what ex what's going to happen right now is it's about 2.30 in the afternoon. I will see you guys in about, ooh, four or five hours when it gets dark. Now, somebody remind me in the future that I've got five high-tech components kicking around. Native life forms are migrating to a different area. Great opportunity for hunting. What does that mean to me? Is that just different animals in different places? Because I can live without that. But if there's, like, a special one, like the floaters, is that the floaters? Native life forms are migrating to a different area. Can I see that on the map? Do I have to rush over here? I can't even rush over there. That's nowhere near a teleporter, although there's probably a teleporter up in there. Okay, you know what? That's fine, because I've seen that one before. Guys, do please let me know in the comments, is that where we're getting the floaters from? Because I know that is some sort of event where they're just going to pop up. Is that the one I'm looking for? I've seen this before. Native life forms are migrating. Let me know in, if in the future I should be racing over there. I'm Right now, I'm a little more concerned with waiting around until it's dark. I'm going to put away the grenade launcher. For right now and the grenades for it in the gun box and i'm going to try between episodes to make some more grenades i like those lithium grenades not lithium helium those are two totally different kinds of grenades uh, but i like the slowdown on that i might i was going to bypass those but i might might keep some of those around i was waiting around for it to get dark so i could see if i could see in the dark and then i realized it is dark and i can see in the dark it just didn't change in fact if anything it got slightly brighter when air quotes night hit oh i like this this is good stuff not worried about flashlights not worried about camping overnight anymore although i probably will do that do that occasionally just to get some food going it's great to hunt on the road and then cook it and then eat it because that's kind of how hunting and cooking and eating things works i'm liking the low light vision I'm, I'm unlimited now. I can just keep walking around all day and all night. It is actually brighter than it is during the daytime. That's phenomenal. You'd think, you'd think there'd be some sort of penalty. Like, in the daytime, it might be almost blindingly bright out. But no, this is good stuff. Okay, so we're working towards more implants. We're going to need more gold for that. We're going to need a lot of stuff. I got a lot to think about here. I need to begin my great tidying up as I do between episodes, and I'll do some between episode crafting. And guys, do please let me know on that world event. I would really like to find those floaters. So just kind of check that off our box there. We'll spend some learning points next time. We got a bunch of them queued up after all of that mining that we did, but that is a great place to crawl, call it on Cryofall for today. Do please keep the comments coming in, guys. Let me know what you're thinking of this. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Oh, what is that? That's like a person. Oh, hang on. Da-dum. Da-dum.
Dum 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 da dum 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 da dum. Ah, what are you doing, Amanda? What are you up to? Are you are you figuring out how cows work? Because that's the wrong end of the cow. I assure you, Amanda. Citizens drop go. Everything is under control. This is this is not a fire. This is not a fire. This is an aggressive urban redevelopment program. I have a cylinder. I broke Dave. Broke Dave. <laughs> Talk about yourselves on the back. <laughs> I just dropped my controller. <laughs> oh my goodness.